museum after closing time. I'm just rearranging an exhibit I designed when the museum director comes up to me. Yuki, this exhibit looks really great. Thank you. Nothing makes me happier than being complimented on a job well done. I actually have a favor to ask you. What is it? Have you heard about the International Art Festival coming up next year? Yes. The IIR. It is going is going to be celebrating culture and art from all over the world. Our, our museum is also being asked to participate. What? In such a little exhibit? Exhibition? Exhibit? Ugh. Exhibition. I can't do it. Whatever. Oh my god, that is like the best thing in the world. <laughs> I know, it's sudden. But we're going to be borrowing some traveling exhibitions from the British Museum. Really? The British Museum? So cool. I can't believe an exhibit from the British Museum is coming here. Yes, and I'd like you to be in charge of the project. Mm, me? Oh, I don't know about that. I'm going to assign it to you on your assignment. Think the two of you can handle it together? Of course. Thank you so much. This is like... Amazing! It's like a what is once in a lifetime thing, so, at least for me. <laughs> this is amazing! I can't believe this. My heart is racing wildly in the excitement of being asked to this special project. I have something I need to tell you, and set. <laughs> As I leave the museum, I quickly text Yuki. He's been really busy lately, though. Yuki's been so busy at work lately that he's having had seen each other at, at, at lunch or at all. There's nothing we can do about it, but I am a little lonely. Oh. Well, he's busy working and everything. I remember to myself as I go to pull my cell phone away in my purse. What the heck? Eek! Eek! I'm eating dinner at LRN. Meet me there. Thank you. My heart leaps when I see the text from him. Does my hair look okay? I wonder if you'll be able to stay over tonight. It's been ages since you did. Oh, I, I just wish you'd stay more often. I'm glad I cleaned up my apartment yesterday. <laughs> I can't wait to see you. I really, I realized I started to, to jog as I head towards Leonard Noir. Hey everyone! Welcome! You look like you're in a good mood today. Something good happened? Yes, a lot. <laughs> I take off the coat and sit down. Really? Spill it. Oh, I want to hear too. Come on, and tell the old man about it. Hey, Beardless, hurry it up with my pork noodles. All right, I forgot. <laughs> what would you like, Yuki? Mm, some hot wine, and I want some kind of cheesy snack. Come on, right up. <laughs> That's great. I see you slumped over in the corner. You must be exhausted. Hey, Ricky. Hey, Ricky. What? This isn't a cold tone of voice, and I feel... I feel worried. Is something happening? Hmm. Are you having a rough time at work? I guess. I see dark circles under Ricky's eyes. But he smiles a little. 
is some pepperoncino and garlic fried chicken. Garlic gives you energy. So make sure you eat a lot of it, Ricky. Thanks. I want some too. Taku to Takuto Takuto snatches the plate away and starts gobbling it up. Ah, Takuto! That's Ricky's! <laughs> Shut up. What's his what's his is mine? And what's mine is mine. <laughs> He's some like some kind of grade school bully. Ricky, let him go. I'm gonna leave soon anyway. Ricky says standing up. Are you going back to work? Yeah, go ahead and relax here. Oh no, I'll go with you. I want to spend more time with... 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 You... I say I like as a chuckle. From... Yuki. Don't look at me with that sissy look in your eye. <gasps> you want me to take you right in front of everyone else? What? Ricky never holds back. As usual. If you're gonna eat her, then you don't need this fried chicken anymore, right? Toma, you must have your hands full with Ricky, huh? <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> Good, Ricky's acting normally. Even though everyone's teasing us, I'm relieved that Yuki's act Ricky's actually like himself again. We leave LRN and as we walk along, Ricky gently wraps his arm around my waist. Sorry about before. What? I was a little cold to you. It's alright. I know you're tired. I stay snuggling up against him. Have you been missing me? Yes, I missed you so much. I'm, I'm sorry. There's so much work I've got to take care of. I'm having to stay overnight at the office for a while. Well, wow, he must really be busy. But it's work. There's nothing he can do about it. I understand. Just take care of yourself, though, okay? I will. Thanks. I will walk you home tonight. No, that's alright. Your off is in the opposite direction anyway. Is that how you really feel? What? The look in your face is saying you want to spend more time together. Oops. You don't have to hold back with me. I want to spend a little more time together too. He smiles and takes my hand. We're here. Yep. Even though I know I'll see him again, I feel sad right now. Hey, what? Ow! Ow! He pinches my cheeks. Why did you do that for? Because he made a face. I'm sad. What am I gonna do with you? He sighs and gazes at me, his eyes tender. Want to talk for just a little longer? Yes, please. I would love to. You're so easy to please. We clasp each other's hands and sit down on a nearby bench. I'm obsessed with reading lately, Ricky. You? Reading? Uh huh. Fashion magazines, right? No. What are you talking about? No. I don't. No. I, I can't believe that. I take out the book I'm reading right in front of my purse. This is really po it's really popular right now among women my age. Messages of love from Shakespeare. Shakespeare? Yes, it's a collection of experts from Shakespeare's work and that have to do with love. There's so many beautiful sayings in here. It melts my heart just reading it. It melts your heart? You sound like you're in junior high. He laughs. Listen to this one. Love looks not like the, with the eyes, but with the mind. Isn't that beautiful? That's from A Midsummer Night's Dream. Oh, how did you know that? You're so smart, Ricky. I 
That's a really famous line. You're so silly, getting so worked up over every little thing. I can post my head closer to the messes of my hair. Oh, I just had a great idea. What? I'm texting this thing should be lined style love light that I really like. Huh? Then you can text me back with something really sweet, too. There's no way I can do that. Why not? You always say cheesy lines that make me blush. I do not. Yes, you do. He says all kinds of things in bed. Uh, um, that sounds weird. Just thinking about it makes me blush. Hmm, I see. So you want me to whisper some sweet nothings to you in bed, eh? Um... How did you know? <laughs> <coughs> I was right. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> I never thought you'd be the one to fall for it. Slips an arm around my shoulder and pulls me towards him. I don't want to say those things to you via text. I want to hold you in my arms and fill you up with my love and kiss you. He whispers to me and nothing makes me wish you to his phone. So just keep giving me love to me. I can do that. Wait, really? You good? He says to me nothing that makes me love the big things. Ricky? We're in public. <laughs> You're so adorable. So in the end, he turns down my course to exchange lovey dovey texts. The following weekend, Ricky and I finally have time off, off of work to spend with each other. We're enjoying a date together. Stop stepping on all the leaves. You're gonna fall. <laughs> but it's fun! <laughs> He says with exasperation, but he still watches over me with a kind of smile on his face. <laughs> Why do you keep laughing? No reason. Weirdo. I want to hold his hands. I wonder if he'll let me. I glance over at him, holding my hand out, and then pulling it back towards me. Just then, my warm hand touches mine gently. Oh. I thought I told you not to hold back in front of me. I know everything about you. Ricky. He sticks both our hands in his jacket. So warm. We chat with each other as we walked along the tree lined street, which is covered in yellow leaves. It's very simple, but it feels really precious to me. After we walked for a while, we stopped at a little cafe off the side of the road. Hmm, what should I get? Oh, well, milk tea? Think. I think. I look at the menu trying to decide when a waiter comes right for our orders. Have you decided? A cafe latte and a raw milk tea, please. Huh? Coming right up. That's amazing, Ricky. How did you know I wanted raw milk tea? Since you're always getting raw milk tea when the weather gets cold. Hmm, now that you mention it. <laughs> You didn't even notice it yourself. You're such a space cadet, as usual. He chuckles with amusement, and my heart warms up as I gaze at his profile. Rick is always watching me so closely. After a while, the waitress brings over Ricky's white latte. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> well, they're really good at latte art. There's a cute bear drawn in the foam of Ricky's cafe latte. That looks like you. This looks like you. You mean I'm cute with this dumb teddy bear? You're always too too positive. I've never said you were cute. Hey, you jerk. What do you mean, then? I meant you're soft and cuddly, just like how this bear looks. What? Hey, guys. Um, Thank you very much, and thanks. Bye.